Hello, my beautiful soul subscribers. Welcome back. It's your girl unknown goddess, Tarot. Okay, we just flew out like that. What's going on right here? Okay, how's everyone doing? Y'all, y'all seen that? It just said, flew right back out. Just flew out. All right. So what's going on? All right, I'm not gonna take this, but it just flew out. So who's this emperor? Who's this masculine? That, oh, okay, all right, okay. See what just flew off the top? See, <laughs> I was shuffling my cards before I turned on the camera. My cards are shuffled. Okay, okay, all right. So somebody was throwing, somebody was throwing magic on you. This emperor, he was throwing, he was trying to throw magic on you and it reversed and went back on him. Uh-huh. Or I feel like the magic that he was trying to put on you or this person overall, this person could be an Aries, they could be a Taurus, uh, they could be a Gemini. Mm-hmm. Um, they could be a Earth sign. But somebody sees you as their earth angel. They see you as their true love. Okay, so this emperor is coming back to you. His earth angel. If not, he was using love magic to try to bring you back. Because now he see you as his true two of cups, but... Or did somebody just see you as their true... Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see, spirit. But I feel like whatever he's doing, he's in this reverse energy now. It's all that he done to you, all that they're doing to you, this person doesn't have to be an emperor. Could be a feminine or could be a masculine doing this. As we see, it could be a fem, excuse me, it could be a feminine or a masculine doing this to you. Or this could be this masculine um, who's leaving this feminine energy who's now feeling stuck because those illusions aren't working anymore. Those manifestations ain't working anymore. It's all being reversed and all that they were manifesting. Now they're in this two of pentacles. Yeah, because your person is either holding back or you're holding back from them. So now they're feeling stuck. They don't know how to pursue their happiness without you. They don't know how to pursue their happiness without you. Because see, they didn't realize that you're the real one. They didn't understand that you got the true gift out here. Your angels are all around you and protecting you from this energy. So everything that they were sending out here with this magician energy, it has been reversed onto them. Whoever this person is, somebody was out here trying to use magic on you. But your guardian angels are all around you with this two of, this two, this two of cups energy. Oh, wow. That just spit out just like that. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on, my divine masculine or divine feminine or... Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, now. Ace of Swords. The truth came out. Some type of truth and clarity is out here. Mm-hmm. Some type of truth and clarity is out here. Some type of truth and clarity came out and got this broke this person like a three of swords energy. Yeah, they heartbroken. That cycle is closed. They're heartbroken. Now they're in this two of pentacles in this four. Yeah, they're feeling fucking miserable right now. They're miserable for the simple fact that this 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 person who was doing the magic is all being backfired on them. It's in the upright, yeah. Who was out out here pulling this magician energy? It's all backfiring on them, and now they're feeling like a two. Of, they stuck. They stuck with that shit. Yeah, because your person moved on and closed that cycle out with them. Three card, that world card is done. Yeah, this person is getting spiritual guidance out here. They won't woke. Okay. Yeah, they woke, woke. Didn't I tell you they're closing out that cycle? Damn, that shit is done. There go that 10. There go that 10. They done. Yeah, this person is in their hermit energy. They're in the nine of wands. They're trying to heal. They set them healthy boundaries with this five out here. Yeah, somebody set them healthy boundaries and manifesting. They change and they want a peace of mind. They don't want to fucking play with nobody. They out here protecting their energy. This person or you right now, you're protecting your energy right now, my collective. Yeah, yeah, because you've seen the truth. You've seen the truth. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, you pushing forward, honey. You closing out that cycle. Nope, you ain't playing no more. You ain't playing no more. You woke, woke. And you blocking them now with that two of that two. Yeah, you moving forward with that two of wands. Somebody's awakened to seeing the truth. They out here getting their spiritual guidance to manifest the changes in their life. They closing out this cycle. Here you go, three, three. Somebody's on their mastery out here now. Yeah, somebody's going through their spiritual lessons and, and protecting their energy. Yeah, they're defending themselves from this person or whoever's sending magic your way. It's backfire on this person. This person could be an Aries, a Taurus. Yeah, whatever they're sending out your way, my collective, you are highly protected. Yeah, spirit ain't playing with them. Spirit ain't playing them with them. Nah, nah. You ended that. You turned your back on that. You done. You done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You done. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. Woo! Whoever this is, they're getting their judgment. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're getting their fucking judgment for fucking with you. Death and rebirth transformation. That shit is dead. Dead, dead, dead. And you ain't playing. Either this person is coming back to you, who they truly love, because they got a lot of love for you. They got a lot of love for you. They're trying to heal themselves right now. This nine of wands energy. They're healing themselves. Yeah, they're going through a transformation. Okay. All right. So we're set to put that three right here with this one right here. Let's see what's going on out here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be the Scorpio. You could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. Aries with Aquarius in your chart. Could be a Cancer with Libra in your chart. Could have Sag in your chart. Mm-hmm. 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 Whatever this person is doing, they're getting their karma. Death upon them. Yeah. Yeah, death upon them. Yeah, they're getting their judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were out here cheating with their third party situation. I feel like that third party could be this person who know that this person and you are meant to be. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull, let's pull the tarot on this one. Let's see what's brewing out here, spirit. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, somebody ended the cycle out here. Didn't I tell you? Somebody closed it out. They done. Somebody woke, woke. Maybe you are the queen of wands. Maybe somebody was trying to use this magic on you and you turned your back, my queen of wands. You standing in your truth and your power. Yeah, you standing in your truth. You, you awaken to some type of truth out here or whoever this masculine is, if this masculine energy, whoever they were with, whoever they was married to and the stability and, and trying to provide the stability to. Um, maybe they're the ones that's that's pulling this magic. On you, divine femme. But whatever it is, first that that cycle is over. It's done. It's dead. There go that 13. Whatever they, this, whatever she's doing, this cycle is closed. It's being reversed back onto her. Okay? This feminine energy right here, that cycle is closed. It's dead. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh, all right. What flew out? Yeah, nine of wands. I told you somebody put up them healthy boundaries. There go that nine of wands energy. Yeah, somebody set them found boundaries and they're not playing no more. They're not testing the waters with this person anymore. They're not playing. They're feeling like a wounded warrior. And I feel like that nine of wands is the protection from the most high. So spirit is protecting you from this energy. Spirit is protecting you from this energy. Somebody was trying to wound you. Somebody was trying to fuck with your money, your stability. Somebody was trying to fuck with your investments. And I feel like it's this person who was in this relationship or you was in a relationship with them. You are in a solid commitment with them, okay? Or they were in a solid commitment with that person, but they woke in, they wake up, they 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 seen the truth, they realize that you're the you're the one that they love, or you're just being getting that spiritual guidance now. You're you're getting your ancestral guidance. You're protected. All right, let's see what else is going on, spirit. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're holding back. Four of Pentacles right here. Didn't I tell you? You're holding back or your person is holding back. Somebody's out here securing themselves. Personal protection out here. Because you won't woke. 
Okay, with this three right here, yeah, you close out that cycle. You're living in your life purpose. You awaken. You get you get your spiritual downloads from the most high now. You get your messages from the most high. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You and your mastery out here with that eight. Okay? And you manifesting your stability out here, boo. There go that 11 right here. And this person don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it because every time they pull that magic on you, it returns right onto them and wound them. Fucking wound them. They hurting themselves thinking they hurting you. Huh? Yeah, they get held back. They get held back from the you. You're, you're protected from this shit. Okay? Your person is now holding back from them. Your person is now holding back from them. They ended it and now they're in this three of swords. They feel like it's a stab to the heart. It's like their heart is bleeding now. Huh? Yeah, didn't I tell you? There it go. There it go. So somebody feels like you're there, you're you're there um two of cups. Somebody from your past. Somebody from your past is ending a marriage out here, ending a commitment. I just did this last reading. I just did this reading. They got a lot of love for you. Or they're walking away from this baby mama right here. They wait, they walking away from this baby mama right here. There she go. This one right here, who they was in a commitment with, okay? Who they have a children with, they have a family with. It was in a commitment with her, or they have a family with her, okay? But that's who they're holding back from now. This baby mama, this is who they walked away from, all right? That's the one who was throwing the magic. Yeah, this is who they walked away from with that eight. They took off, they left, they jumped in that chariot, and they protecting their energy. I told you they woke up to see the truth. They are they are absolutely awakened to this, this connection between you and them. Yeah, y'all are past life lovers, Y'all are past life lovers out here. Yes, y'all are. I feel like y'all also communicate telepathically. Y'all get message through the mind. Okay, with this Ace of Swords, y'all communicate through telepathically, you and this person. Yeah, y'all do. He walking away from this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is the one throwing the magic. Okay, but your person is right here. They want to come back and balance out the situation with you. Okay, yeah, they uh, they hope that you'll be patient with them. But right now, they're getting themselves aligned with and into their spiritual purpose right here. They would love to heal and restore things with you. Yeah, they want to come back and invest with you. They got that temperance energy, 14. They want to come back out here and balance it out with you. Okay, and they're ready to defend this union. They're ready to defend this union. This person is ready to defend this union, my 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 collective. Okay, they woke up and they realized there was nothing more they can do because, like I said, this connection was so freaking intense. Y'all even speak telepathically. They have no choice but to walk away. They walked away. Like I said, they turned their back to a wands. Okay, and they seen the truth. They woke up. They seen the truth. They decide to take action in their life. Okay, and they decide no more. Okay, yeah, right here. They they blocking this baby mama right here. They set those healthy, they set those boundaries against her right now. All right. Yeah, yeah. They tired of blocking this commitment, this this union. They tired of blocking this feel their, their feelings. They try they yeah, they tired of hiding it. They they're tired of hiding it. They see you as their absolute earth angel, honey. Okay, yeah, they do. They love you. They love you. They're ready to come back in. This person could be a uh, like I said, this person could uh, be a Sag or Libra in their chart. Okay, yeah, they could be an Aquarius out here. They could be a Scorpio, like I said. Mm -hmm. But see, they blocking this 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 baby mama right here. Yeah, yeah, who they were working with. There go that three of pentacles. They had a stable, stable home with her. Yeah, they had a stable home with her. But see, she was using, um, she was very selfish. It was all about self, okay? Very selfish, trying to hold your person back, right? But no, your person is not being held back anymore. No, 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 no. They want to come back here and team up and collaborate with you. They learn what they needed to learn. And like I said, there go that two of pentacles. That two of wands. I'm sorry. They turned their back. They learned their lessons. Like I said, they want to come back out here and team up and collaborate with you. They want to balance out the situation with you. And they're hoping that you'll have the patience to work with them again. Okay. They want to come back, team up, collaborate, and invest with you. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and give you the stability. Ten of pentacles all together. All right. That's what they're hoping to invest with you, all right? Because whoever they was over here investing with, they realize this person is lazy, very codependent, okay? Very codependent. Um, you could, this could be you to my collective as well who walked away. 
as much as you love this person, as much as you know this person you were probably meant to be, you got tired of giving him your love and nurturing spirit. You got tired of that. You got tired of being wounded by this person. So you was like, you know what? We're going to dead this right here with this 13. No more keep going back. Tired of reversing and repeating cycles with you. Tired of repeating these cycles with you. All I do is give you my love and still you can't take the blindfolds off to see how much you hurt me, how much you wound me, how much I care for you. And you can't even still see that. All right, then fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to hold back on you now. Fuck that. I'm going to hold back on you. I'm tired of going back and forth with you. I'm tired of the reversals with you. Okay? And getting away. I'm tired of your manipulations, your lies. I'm sick and tired of that shit. No more. How about I block you, put this love into myself, and protect myself from you? Huh? Let's end that cycle. Let me go through my death and my rebirth and my transformation on my own. Let me put that love into me because I'm tired of you stabbing me in my fucking heart. You're selfish bastard. You're always holding back on me. Okay? This person don't know love. And as much as I love you, as much as I love you, I'm going to take that love from my guardian angels and go within and balance myself out. Okay? I see the truth. I can't do anything else about it. I tried, but apparently I got to see the truth for myself. It's time for me to turn my back, walk away, and invest in myself and, and heal those and, and put up those healthy boundaries and start healing myself. Okay, let me get myself, let me work on myself. Let me learn something new about me. Let me learn some new things out here. Let me go team up with people that are like-minded, that I can learn something with, that I can grow with. Okay, so that's what you decide to do for yourself as much as you love this person as well, my, my collective. Okay, you realize there's nothing more you could do about the situation. Let me just turn my back. And you took that journey and you walked away. There go that eight, there go that eight again. You walked away. You're done. No more investing in you. Let me invest in myself. Yeah, let me get myself balanced, get myself in my right mind. Let me close out this cycle and go through my transformation. And there you go. There you go. You, you, you're done dealing with this broken heart. Okay? Tired of giving your love and it ain't getting nowhere. I'm tired of giving my love and getting nowhere, nowhere. What I really need is somebody. Who will always be there? Um, what? This time around for me, baby. Action speaks louder than words. If you're looking for devotion, talk to me. Yeah, because you're devoted. Okay? Come with your heart in your hand. Why? Because your love, your love, your love is, is passionate, it's loving, it's kind. It's no other like you, my earth angel, masculine or feminine. There's no other like you, okay? There is no other. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real, th you're the real one. You're the one that they got all this love. You see that red, that root chakra, so much passion. Look how much passion, how nurturing, how loving. Huh? Great partnership. Huh? Can learn some things from you. Huh? That's what you was trying to teach him. Didn't want to accept it. You was here giving it and all they was giving you was a three of swords in your heart. Stabbing you in the heart. And you said no more. Tired of repeating the same old cycles and the reversals and the bullshit and your manipulation. And then you turn your back on me and act like I don't matter. You want to stab me in my heart. You want to keep me in this two of swords. Keep manipulating, lying to me. I'm just tired of hearing the same old. I'm done. I'm done. Okay? Fucking done. That's enough. That's enough. Let me hold back. Let me block you. Set these healthy boundaries and put this love into myself. How about I reverse that love into me? Huh? Yeah. How about I put that love into me? Okay? As much as I love you. And for some of y'all, it's somebody coming back from your past, honey. All right? They walked away from this queen of cups, this baby mama who was trying to keep them stuck in that in this magician energy. Yeah, they was trying to keep them stuck. Yeah. They was using that fake love, that nine of cups, but in the red, that root, that blood, that blood magic, love magic, that fake love magic. Okay. She was never the real one. She was a copycat. All right. She was never the real one. That's who your person is blocking. This emperor, this Scorpio, this Taurus, this Virgo, mm -hmm, this Gemini. Yeah. They blocking her. She probably, the baby mama could be a, a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay. There it is. And they coming back to you. 
Okay, so take it how it resonates, my collective. This could be you all together working on yourself, getting your spiritual guides, all right? Teaming up with your angels. That's what you're teaming up, and you all alone right now. And that's okay. You're too busy focused on getting yourself realigned, living in your life purpose. That's what you're doing. You're out here mastering your gifts, your ideas, and you're using it, working on that. That's what you're working on and getting yourself back in balance and aligned, okay? Somebody else, like I said, there's two different energies. Somebody coming back from your past, coming back to work on the situation with you, and this is just you all across the board, all right? Yeah, and you're being successful, being very victorious on your own, taking those calculated risks. Whatever you invested in, honey, it took time, but those calculated risks was, was well worth it because now you're going to be successful or you are already a successful, seeing the fruits of your labor's, labor come into life. Yeah, yeah. Starting to see everything come in balance now. Yeah, you can lay back and chill now. Yeah, yeah. Got that residual income starting to come in. That idea is paying off. Yeah, all because you decide to work on your own ideas with that three of pentacles. Turn your back, honey. Made a fucking decision and said, you know what? I'm about to set a better future for myself, honey. Okay, and what I observe with you, the truth of the matter is the only way I'm going to get the future that I know that I deserve that's going to be successful is to turn my back on you. And that's what you did and walk the fuck away. And that's the absolute truth. Okay? And that's what you did. You worked and invested in yourself, honey. That's what you did by walking away. Saw the truth. Now you in balance. And your future is looking bright. I also feel like this is your person that turned their back on this, this baby mama right here. They ended that cycle. They holding back now. And they blocking this baby mama. They set those healthy boundaries. They're tired of being wounded with this person. Okay. Or by this person. They're tired of the emotional manipulations to keep them coming back. Because that's what she was doing to keep your person confused. Keep your person stuck. Okay. And they decided no more. No more. They made a decision and they moved off. Yes, they did. They walked away. They seen this baby mama for who she is. Okay. They're no longer playing with that energy. And now they right here working and building back their self, getting themselves back together. Yes, yeah, so that's what they're doing. They're right here doing a lot of self-reflecting as well, healing as well. Yeah, that's what they're doing and in investing into themselves. And they had to look over this situation like, you know what? I was fucking blinded the whole time. I should have been left your ass. I should have been left this cycle, into this karmic cycle with you. Because I realized you fucking selfish anyways. Uh huh? Always holding back for me. The love wasn't even real. You were stabbing me in the damn heart. Okay? So they realize that and they're done with that person. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else is going on out here. Let's get the, what should I get spirit? Clarify this spirit. Ow. Let's do what's brewing. Let's see what was brewing over here. Oh, what was that? All right. Why don't I feel like using this? I don't feel like using the what's brewing. I feel like using my yin yang deck. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab the yin yang deck. Because I feel like this is you overall, my collective. And I feel like this is somebody from your past coming back, letting go of a commitment. Okay, where is my yin yang deck? Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it, y'all. Just bear with me. I go with the flow. All right. Yeah, okay. Yin yang. Okay, no. Spirit says use the scoop. Okay, Spirit, you confusing me. They said scoop and both. Okay. They said to use both. All right. Let me use both. I feel like this is for you all together, my collective. And this, see, look at this. This is what your person was dealing with over there. Toxic family dynamic. Very toxic. Always wounded. Stressing. I mean, one more one before 10 of wands. This person says, no more. We ain't going to do that no more. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not going to hold them burns with you no more. How about I let that go? This is what you were dealing with or this is what your person is dealing with, my collective. A very toxic family dynamic. Yeah. Didn't I tell you this person was getting readings? This baby mama was getting readings? Uh, she knew the judgment was coming. She knew that was going to come. She knew that tower was coming. There go the judgment card. When she was getting them readings, she knew. She knew. She knew that judgment was coming. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Try to blackmail this man or blackmail you. All right, let's see what else is going on. How long I've been on here? 20 minutes. Ooh. Give us the scoop. Ooh. All right. All right, yeah. So cleanse your space. Cleanse your space. And this is either you doing this right now with this cleansing and getting yourself tempered and balanced, okay? Yeah, this is you right here, my collective. All right. Or this is your person that's cleansing their space. Okay. Continue to cleanse. 
Yeah, because who they were dealing with was very codependent. This person had an addiction, whoever they were dealing with. Yeah, this person would get high and like to get high and start fights and arguments. Yeah, here it is. They had an addiction. Yeah, absolute addiction. They stay tied up in their mind. Yeah, look at them. Catfishing. Someone is not who they appear to be. No, they're not. And I feel like it's this very same baby mama. This person woke up to see the truth. That's why they walked away. That's you. As much as you love this person, okay? Or, I mean, as much as they was there, they realized this person was fake. This baby mama right here? Yeah, she was very manipulating. Or you realized they were very manipulating. They was only here feeding off of your energy, my queen of cups. That queen of cups energy, um, like I said, they was putting up that facade. Pretending, like I said, you kept going back and forth. Round and round with them. Round and round I go. Where this one stopped, you would never know. Okay? you did. They was just unpredictable. Very unpredictable. This baby mama too, um... She was always promising that she was going to clean herself up and get off of this substance abuse, okay? Or this person was always promising they're going to get themselves together. But see, they was always catfishing. They was lying. They was always lying. They was never telling the truth. They was never telling the truth. No, they were lying. That's how they would just keep your person stuck or try to keep you stuck. They even would try to tell this person that they would hurt themselves. They'll kill themselves if they try to leave. So they, they had a lot of manipulation on your person or you. Use a lot of emotional manipulation. Yeah, there it goes. Confusions and conflicts may be going on at this time. There it is. There it is. Okay, maybe this person had to call the popo on this one. Had to call the justice system and get her arrested. Yeah, they had to come out here and haul her ass off in this chariot energy. They had to haul her ass off, get her arrested because she got mental issues. Okay, got mental issues. Yeah, yeah, there she go. That codependent energy. There it go. Six of Pentacles, codependent on your person. Very codependent on them. Or they were just codependent on your codependent on these addictions. All right? Yeah. And they would always promise you they're going to get themselves together. And I, I won't be causing any more confusions, you know, because if this person don't get their drugs, if they don't get their addictions fed, it was a fucking brawl. It's a brawl out here. Okay? It's a fucking brawl if they didn't get their addictions fed. All right, yeah, but see, your person walked away because you will grow from the situation or you will grow from the situation or growth or this is what your person is going to do. Yeah, they already made that decision. They realized they wasn't going to grow being with this codependent energy or just you overall, my collective, okay? There's two different energies out here. I feel like this is you overall across the board and somebody's coming back to you. All right. Over you overall across the board. You do love this person. This person is your true two of cups, but I feel like they're right here. Um, they have to go through their transformation. They have to get on their own path. They have to turn their back on these addictions right here and get themselves together. Okay. Yeah. Because they, they keep lying. They keep lying to themselves. Okay. Yeah. They still, they, they want you to stay right here in the seven of cups energy. They keep giving you these lies and illusions with the catfishing. They just over it. Just that's enough. That's enough. You love, you love your, your drugs and your alcohol more than you love me. Okay. I'm tired of trying to help you to heal, to get counseling. Some of them, you took them out here to get some type of spiritual counseling, you know, pray for them, you know, always on your knees, helping at praying for this person to get better, heal, but they would just always be manipulating and just always lie to you. You can never get the truth out of them. You can never get the truth out of them. And then on top of it too, they, uh, they had other lovers and they were doing it with their friends too. Some of their friends were a part, they chose their friends and their drugs and their alcohol over you. All right. Yeah, and they third party situations as well. Okay. Wow. No matter how much you would give them this love, they still wasn't accepting it. Still would just turn around and wound you and, and, and blind, block you, block you and hold back from you. And the tables have turned now. I feel like you left this person to deal with that. You left them to deal with that. You left it on their mama. Like, yeah, let your mama take care of you because I'm not here to mother you. I'm here to love you. I'm not your mama though. They got a lot of mother, uh, motherly um, issues, a lot of motherly wounds. Yeah, they was codependent as if you were their mama. I'm not doing that with you. I'm not doing that with you. All right, signs and symbols, watching for the signs from the universe. That's what you was doing, my collective? Yeah, that's how you were able to grow. You realized, like, look, I see the truth. 
I see it for what it is. And the truth of the matter is, if I don't get up and put this love within myself right here and get myself in balance and follow these signs and symbols, I'm going to stay right here blocking my own growth and allowing you to wound me. If I don't hold myself back and get my personal power together and protect myself and my energy and get myself secure, I ain't going to never grow with you. And that's what you have to do. Or this is what your person is doing. Okay? Because you just emotionally, uh, emotionally, and I feel like it's more like drugs and emotion. Drugs and emotions. Addictions is what is controlling this person. And you was like, no more. I'm going to follow the signs and symbols and get my life together. I'm done. I'm done. Let me turn my back. I'm done. Your person is saying that or you're saying that. I'm done. Y'all both are saying that. I feel like this is your person in you. Okay. What else is wrong? Yeah, skeletons. Too many secrets and lies. See? They just keep lying. Every time that you tell them they're going to promise you they're going to get themselves together, you take them out here to get counseling, you pray for them, you realize there was nothing more you could do for this person. Because every time every time you think there's they're going to change, here go more secrets coming out the closet, more lies, more manipulation. <sighs> Never mind. I, I can't help you. I'm done. Tired of drowning in my emotions. Feelings are running deep and also concealed. That's your person who finds you to be very attractive. Okay? Very attractive. Find you very inspirational. Find you very beautiful. Okay? Yeah, and that you're the one that they want to come and invest because, like I said, they seen through the fog. They seen through the fog. Ace of Swords. Okay? That mind, that blue. Yeah, they set them healthy boundaries and took power of their life and was like, no more. Because fucking with you, 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 you going down the wrong path. You going down the wrong path. I got to be cautioned with you. I see the yellow tape all around. I can't fuck with you. Okay? Yeah. For some of y'all, y'all are just meant to be. This person right here that's coming back from your past. I told you there's two different energies out here. This is the one over here. They over here trying to help this person to get their life together. This codependent energy that's on drugs. And this was you trying to do that. And every time you do it, they would just lie. They took your love for granted. They took this Queen of Cups for granted, or this Queen of Cups have a lot of addictions and obsessed with the fact that, obsessed with the, with their sexual addictions as well, cheating, and their friends, their own friends was helping them to do this. Okay, They're, they was taking drugs with these very same friends. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Some of them was being influenced by your own family member. Some of them was doing the drugs with your own family members out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them, this, these, the same baby mama, okay, or this queen of cups, was using her, um, having friends to tag team on your person to keep them stuck under this mastery with this four. Yeah. That fake love. Yeah. That's what they was doing with this mastery. They go that, that pentacles, that two of pentacles keep your person right here under this uh, confusion, illusions with that seven of cups. Had them around here juggling around, multitasking, multi-prioritizing with them. Yeah. Yeah. But your person realized they don't, yeah, they're never going to change. That's it. The truth is, the truth, it is what it is. I'm seeing through the fog. I'm woke, woke. I try to inspire you. You are inspirational to someone, but I feel like they're now realizing how inspirational you are after the fact that you're gone. They're now realizing how much you was trying to help them heal and restore and get their life in balance. That's what they realize now. You're an earth angel and they ain't never found nobody like you no more. Now they ain't find nobody like you. They stuck. They right here drowning and submerging in their emotions. Okay. Yeah. Now they stuck. Now they realizing that you and them were meant to be, huh? And for this person over here who was getting these readings, she always knew. This baby mama, she always knew y'all was meant to be. She always knew. For the person who is coming back, some of them, their mother was an influence. Their mother was an influence to the, to the ending of this relationship. Mm -hmm. They chose their mama to be over you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they chose their mother. Mother wasn't too fond of you, huh? All right. Well, you stay right here. Keep upgrading my collective. Keep doing that upgrade. It says your life is about to have an upgrade. Keep doing that. Here go that success, that victory. Why? Because like I said, you invested in yourself. Okay. All right. This person who they were with, they got caught up. They got caught up. 
Yeah, their actions are catching up to them now. These addictions are catching up to them. With this yellow tape out here, I feel like Spirit is trying to warn them to proceed with caution because... <sighs> I feel like they're running a dangerous game with their life out here. With these addictions... Okay, they're running a dangerous game out here with their life, with this codependent energy on these drugs. Okay, they're going to end up getting themselves caught up. And then Spirit is kind of giving them a cautioning warning to be careful. All right, yeah, to be careful. Because they're going to really hurt themselves this time. It's going to hurt them to a place where I don't think they're even going to return from the damage that they do into their physical body. I don't think that, yeah, yeah. It's going to get to a point where they're going to have to hit fucking rock bottom in order to grow from this situation. Because they need counseling. They do. They do. They need counseling. They need counseling. All right, let's clear this up. Yeah, they need to purify their energy and their aura. This is what they need to do. They need to purify it. That's the spirit is saying. They need to get up off these drugs. All right? Yeah. And that person, your person who walks away from that baby mama, they, they 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 can't deal with her. She's that, yeah, there she go. That queen of cups is right here. That's the one who's drowning in their emotions because they know that your person, your person, this masculine, this Aries, this Taurus, this Gemini, um, this Virgo with Gemini in their chart, uh, or this, 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 yeah, your person ghosts them. They close that cycle. They dead it. Or the Scorpio, they dead that. Your person dead that. Okay. You continue to cleanse your space, though, because this baby mama right here, she trying to hurt somebody. She trying to wound somebody with that, with them spells. But Spirit is like, you're protected. Your angels are all around you. They're protecting you, okay? With that seven of wands as well. You're protected. Your angels are all around you. And your person is being divinely guided because y'all are meant to be. It is what it is. They go that four of pentacles twice. He let go of that commitment because the real commitment is with you. He let go of that partnership because he's right here. Right here, he wants to come back and balance it out with you. Four pentacles, four pentacles all together. That's eight pentacles. He's coming to work on this situation. That's what he wants. He wants equal give and take, baby. And he's holding back right now, securing themselves away from that person. All right? They right here busy purifying their energy. And you continue to cleanse. Because that baby mama, she got, a, she got a problem with this. She got a problem with this. She out here catfishing. Uh-huh. She out here catfishing. Somebody probably following you on a fake channel fake page or something they ain't who they appear to be and if they keep sending messages or complimenting or saying some negative shit to everything that you're doing spirit was like don't even worry about that you're protected they could do what the fuck they want you're protected okay they can't stop your upgrade they can't stop your success whoever this person is okay they can't stop it they're gonna have to sit right here watch you get a lot of attention and watch you be victorious honey and you're fearless okay you're fearless you're fucking fearless. And whatever you're doing, continue. Because you're the growth that you're good, you're enduring right now, you will grow from this situation. Or this is your person. The one that's holding back from the from the baby mama right now. Okay? The one that it was in a relationship with. Yeah, they ended that. They did that. They sure did. They sure did. And it's gonna be an upgrade, and you're protected. So let's get um uh, what else should I get out here, Spirit? Let's clarify this right here. Let's clarify this two. This definite two of pentacles, two of pentacles. This is past life energy. Definitely. They see you as their muse. Okay. We're going to clarify that. Let me get the love oracle deck out here. It's right here. Let me just clear this table up a little bit, y'all. If you're enjoying this video so far, please thumbs up the video. It's your way of donating to the channel. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay. Like I said, I feel like this person see you as their muse. They would love to come back and heal and balance out the situation with you. And they're hoping that you'll have the patience with them this time. They're hoping that you will be patient with them. All right, let's clarify this. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there it go. Protected, you are safe and divinely guided. I told you this union. There go the angels. Guardians all around you protecting you. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is like the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading I just did a while ago. Or this is just overall you within yourself, teaming up with your spirit guides, being balanced within yourself, securing yourself right now, uh, protecting your energy because you know who you are. You know you're an angel. You know you got your wings, baby. All right. And you are an inspiration to a lot of people out here. Okay. People look up to you. 
All right. Yes. Yeah, someone out here definitely following the intuition. All right. You already know the answer you're seeking. And I feel like that's this person right here who sees you as their muse. OK, with this intemperance energy, they absolutely are following their intuition with this, too, as well. This person is listening to their intuition. They absolutely are. Yeah, because this is a this is a destined partnership. Here it is. It's a destined partnership. It is. Spirit says this is a destined partnership and this person knows it. OK, they 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 absolutely inspired by you. Like I told you, some of y'all speak telepathically. Y'all communicate telepathically. What else is going on? Yes. All right. Then I tell you, everything will unfold in divine timing. So that's patience. There go the temper card, temperance card. Okay. It says leap of faith. All right. It is safe for you to make the move you're considering. This definitely, this person is definitely coming back. All right. They're being very patient right now. All right. They know that divine timing is at hand. All right. Yeah. Divine timing is at hand. They're being guided. OK. Um, and like I said, they're blocking and securing themselves away because they know they're not going to dismiss the red flags. They they know the warning because the person who they with, they got children with them. OK. They got children with them. But the whole time this person was longing for you. Someone is secretly, secretly yearning for you. They are absolutely see you as your as their muse. They love you. This person finds you. They love your confidence. They love your beauty. They love how you're stable. They love how you're in balance on your own and you're secure within yourself and overall in your finances and everywhere in your life. You're balanced and they love that. They love that you are tempered out here. You out here test the waters and you are absolutely loving. I mean, there's no other better energy than this. And they've been longing for you. All right. It says someone is secretly yearning for you. I told you they was over there drowning in their emotions, submerged and knowing who they truly love. But you know what? Like I said, they got children with this part with this person. Yeah, they do. And they know right now with them securing themselves right now, they just want to make sure everything is secure. They want to make sure everything is good to go because they did let go of this person. They are single. They are single. Um, but they definitely coming back with this two of cups energy right here. Two of cups with you, honey. Definitely coming back. All right. Yeah, they definitely are. This is somebody from your past. That six of cups energy. All right. But like I said, you're dealing with someone out here that's very codependent, very little cray cray in the mind. All right. And they are going to make that leap of faith. They have taken it already. Actually, they are on their own. They definitely are on their own. They're not dealing with this karmic anymore. No, no, they're not. But they're following their intuition. OK, they already know the answer that they seek. And they know that this is a destined partnership. They already know. Fate. Okay? So that's what's going on for you guys. All right? And they're not, like I said, they're not dismissing the red flags. That's why this person is holding back from you right now in this Four of Pentacles. They're holding back from you right now because they're trying to get themselves together because they know they're dealing with this person that they got a child with, that Queen of Cups, that baby mama. All right? So if you're waiting for your person, I mean, everything will unfold in divine timing. Everything will unfold in divine timing. All right. And it is a definite protected union. All right. All right. So that's what I have for you, my beautiful soul subscribers. If you enjoyed this read again, please like, share, subscribe. Yeah, this person is going slow. Take time. Yeah, this person is going slow right now. That's why they're holding back from you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They want to get to know each other again. They want to go slow with you. And they're hoping that you will have the patience to want to heal and restore with them this love. Okay, they, they're hoping that you, you know, go slow and take their time with you. All right. All right. Well, that's what I have, my beautiful soul subscribers. Anything else? Yeah. Nope, that'll be all. What else? I mean, yeah, this person is detached and cold. That They're detached. This is definitely a yin-yang energy. Yeah, they're absolutely detached and cold, uh, cold away from that person. Yeah, they're not dealing with that karma. They're not dealing with that queen of cups. Nah. Yeah, yeah, because it's toxic. They tied to those repeated patterns. You're tied to these repeated patterns. Yeah, that six of that six of pentacles, devil energy. Yeah, toxic. This is what they're dealing with. This is what they have a family with, right here. That's what they're dealing with. That's why spirit is like they they're not dis don't dismiss the red flags, and that's why your person is like nah, they can't dismiss it because they're gonna make sure, you know, they're gonna hold that they're gonna hold the faith and have the patience. Yeah. Because they're trying to form a solid structure, a foundation with you. But they're still dealing with this external party, which is the baby mama. Yeah, the third wheel. That's who they're dealing with. That's who they're dealing with. This one who's decepting. Yeah, because this person is coming back to you, Divine Femme. All right? This is who they, they're coming back to you, Divine Femme or Divine Masculine. Yeah, y'all are going to integrate. This is a union that's meant to be. There it go again. It's a union that's meant to be. Okay? 
Yeah, it's the union that's meant to be. They're dealing with this person right here who's very clingy, all right, living in their past life. Right, right here, this very toxic, deceptive energy, all right? For some of y'all, this is what you were dealing with. Their deceptions, their third wheel, their, you know, their third party situations. All right, that's what some of y'all was dealing with and you didn't dismiss the red flags and you moved on. You moved on. And for some of y'all, um, spirit is going to give you a new love. Somebody's going to, spirit is going to give you a new love. And spirit says, don't you worry. Be patient. Everything will um, unfold in the divine timing, okay? Don't you worry. You're going to get a new love for some of y'all. But for, 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 for the overall, it's a person from your past. They're dealing with this person right here, okay? They're dealing with this third party situation, this external energy who they have a child with. All right, yeah, but they already took that leap of faith. There it is. It's a confirmation once again. Where's that leap of faith? There it is. It's a double confirmation. Freedom. They already took that leap of faith. But they have to wait because they're dealing with this toxic, deceptive, codependent baby mama. This external party who they have a child, a child with. You've seen the Queen of Cups. So they can't dismiss the red flags right now. They go that pro that proceed with caution. That's that warning. So this person know they gotta proceed with caution. They gotta make sure they cleanse out, they clear out this energy completely, close this cycle completely before coming back out here to you. That's why spirit says patience. Everything will um, um, unfold in divine timing. All right, my divine fam, that's you. Two of Cups, Divine Masculine, take it how it resonates. They see you as the Divine One, but I see the Divine Feminine right here. That copycat energy was trying to be you. All right, yeah, trying to be you. But she was always a third a third wheel. He or she was always a third wheel. And it was only there to teach a person a um, spiritual lesson or teach you a spiritual lesson. All right, but you're already on your divinity. You up here, my divine fam, divine masculine. And if you didn't leave, you wouldn't have been on this, on this, on this journey. You wouldn't have been here. You wouldn't have been here. Woo! All right. But that person took that leap of faith. And so did you within yourself. You did it for yourself, and now your person is doing it. There you go. You did it for yourself. And for the other half of the story, the person that's coming back from your past, they did it for themselves. They get they get themselves in balance. Yes, they are. You're already doing it. You already put that love into you, boo. There you go, Divine Fem. This is like the last reading I did. All right, so I wish you guys love and light. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess.